while we will have M9Xs, R74s and Mikai Rs in the future of War Thunder, and it might be sooner than you think. Hello guys, once again it's Matt, thank you all the members and patrons, make sure to subscribe. And I wanted to talk a little bit about the future of IR missiles in the game, and uh, obviously talk about a little bit of a concept that I have um, always talked about, right? Uh, but I really wanted to make a specific video about this. Why would, like, we will have the next generation of missiles? Why we will need to have these types of missiles in a sooner future than you might think? Well, the first thing that you need to understand is that in the game, and in any game, to be honest, we need to have um, different things to the game to be balanced, right? One of them is that the game needs to be kind of that rock, paper, scissor kind of situation that everybody talks about, right? Uh, that we need to have something that kills something, that can defend from something, etc, etc, right? So we need to have uh, the specific vehicle that can kill a type of vehicle, that type of vehicle can kill another type of vehicle, and that other type of vehicle can kill the first type of vehicle, right? This is very common in games in general, and... Um, it will be the case for missiles as well, in my opinion, right? Why is that? Well, that's the thing. We have kind of a rock, paper, scissors kind of situation here uh, with three categories of an aircraft. The offensive armament, the defensive measures, and the performance of the aircraft. Always these three need to be balanced. Why? Because if you have an offensive armament that is too good for the defensive measures, it means that the game will be too bleak to actually play, you know? Uh, you will just shoot the missiles, or shoot the gun, or whatever, and it's going to be a guaranteed kill. It needs to be a balance, at, a balance between the two, you know? The defense systems, or defense measures, the countermeasures, basically, right? Need to be on par with the type of missile that we have, so that there is at least a chance uh, that if the player plays correctly, he can actually defeat the missile, and there is a chance that the missile is good enough, so that if the player plays correctly, he can actually kill the target even with the defense systems. And with that, we have the performance of the aircraft as well, that can be basically divided between the offensive and defensive armament, right? Uh, that the performance of the aircraft can enhance the offensive part or enhance the defensive part and of course we go into the future with some aircraft in mind the 4.5 generations we already know that the autofighter the rafale all 4.5 generations and even fifth generations will eventually come you know i don't know about the fifth generation but the 4.5 for sure will uh, come to the game and I think it will be quite soon actually and with that we kind of have a new type of vehicle Yes, they are still fourth generations, but they bring a lot of things to the table and especially performance performance on the terms of speed and especially turning capability this will enhance two things will enhance the offensive armament because now you have better chances to actually fire the missiles and be able to use them at their full potential to actually kill targets and as a defensive measurement because you can or a measure because you can actually uh, avoid these missiles more easily you can have more speed you can have more turn to actually be able to defend yourself according to the target that is trying to kill you etc etc right but of course these two ones uh, will basically be unbalanced at a certain point. At a certain point, if we go into the future enough, you will see the performance of the aircraft making the missiles be too easy to decoy, maybe, okay? And if that happens um, with fifth generations, for example, or even before, as I said, with the 4.5s, it means that we will need a better missile to actually fight these aircraft and have a balanced circle again, right? And with that, it creates an imbalance again, because if you add better missiles, the defensive armament will also need an upgrade. So it's kind of a circle again, right? Uh, we will have a certain possibility, of course this is not guaranteed, that with the missiles that we have right now, the aircraft that we get in the future might be too good for them to actually hit needing a better missile. With a better missile, we need better defense systems, and so on and so on, and the circle continues, right? So, at the end of the day, we need 
better missiles at a certain point. Of course, we have also the possibility that um, the aircraft will increase the performance gap that we have right now, or the performance ceiling, if you will, but not enough that we need better missiles. That happened before, you know, for example, uh, the MiG-29 versus F-16As, um, the A9L and the R-60M, although they, they were not really balanced at that time, uh, they were not as imbalanced as per needing a new missile. We didn't need an R-73 at that time, but once we got F-16Cs, once we got better MiG-29s, once we got better SU-27s, once we got Gripens and you know the best mirages out there and etc etc we kind of needed an r73 we kind of needed an m9m we kind of needed other missiles right and with that what did they do they made the flares in chef better they increased the ability for you to actually use them by dividing them so that you can actually be a little bit more effective with your flares in chef you know, using them accordingly, and of course they even buffed the chef, so that the missiles are really, really drawn to that um, thing, as a safety measure, probably, even to make sure that the Fox 3s were not going to be OP. So, it's a circle. Again, we, in the future, we will see the Eurofighter, as I said, or any 4.5 generation, a MiG-35, an Su-35, the F-16, F-15EX, or I don't know, something like that, you know, would be added. And with that, the missiles would just not be enough because you have too many countermeasures with that auto, or you have a performance that can defeat the missile, whatever, you know. At the end of the day, we will need the better missiles. A9Xs, R74s, whatever. And with that, it creates a kind of a balance set there, but then they will need to take a look again if it's balanced set enough, if it's not balanced set, so that they can actually add a better countermeasure thing, IRC, uh, IRCMs, right, um, mall systems, missile warning approaches, right, approach warning systems, sorry, uh, any type of defense system like that to balance it out, and then the circle continues. So um, I'm pretty sure the Eurofighter onwards will come kind of soon to the game, I would say even this year maybe, next year max, we will start to see those aircraft, and with that, together, we might see these missiles as well. And that's the reason why I think uh, the next generation of IR missiles are kind of around the corner. Or at least sooner than you might think they are going to come. But yeah, guys, uh, let me know in the comments what you think about this next generation of missile. If they are needed right now even, or if you think that they are ne not ever going to be added. Let me know in the comments and I see you guys on the next one. Subscribe and bye guys. See ya.